Peace be upon you all and welcome again to another presentation in this series about world religions. This presentation is about Christianity, chronologically the second of the three monotheistic religions. Uh, I should remind you though that these presentations are uh, meant merely as uh, very basic and elementary introductions. Uh, of course, uh, an adequate understanding and knowledge of, uh, of uh, Christianity, Islam and Judaism uh, cannot be pinned down in these few slides. Uh, the goal of this presentation is indeed to uh, motivate you to search further and to incite you to compare and contrast these three religions uh, and the overall aim is to enable you to uh, not only to uh, know and understand uh, the other, other cultures and other religions, but also to gain some insight into your own beliefs and religious and cultural practices. The more you know the other, the more you know yourselves. Just as we did with Judaism, these are basic facts about Christianity. Christianity was founded in modern-day pa modern Palestine some 30 years after the birth of Jesus. Uh, peace be upon him. Jesus was the, the prophet of God and the founder. Uh, Christianity is a monotheistic religion. Its followers believe in one God, the God who created this universe and sustains it, a God who is all-knowing, uh, omnipresent, omnipotent, uh, God who is powerful. Uh, however, uh, Christianity's conception of God is radically different from uh, Judaism's and Islam's uncompromising belief in one and only one and unique God. Uh, Christians believe that there is one God, but at the same time believe that this God is constituted of three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, there is one God, but at the same time, this God is three persons. I, this is the best I can do to explain it. I know it's uh, very confusing and, and it's equally confusing to many Christians out there. Uh, Jesus is the main uh, figure in Christianity. He is the prophet of God and the founder of uh, Christianity. But he's, uh, uh, the, con uh, the Christian's conception of Jesus is no less confusing than their conception of God. Uh, many Christians believe that Jesus is both fully man and fully God, which is quite baffling to, to the Jews and Muslims, uh, who believe that, uh, that the prophets are human beings and that they are uh, separate from God and they are created by God just as just like uh, uh, me, just like uh, other uh, creatures. Uh, because of D Jesus' miraculous birth, miraculous birth uh, his mother uh, Mary, peace be up on her, is equally an, uh, an important and significant figure in Christianity, particularly to, uh, to the Catholics. Uh, many uh, holidays and celebrations in Christianity revolve around uh, the events which happened to uh, to Jesus and to uh, uh, to his uh, uh, disciples. Uh, some of these are the birth of Jesus himself, which is miraculous, uh, a birth uh, which took place after God. Uh, blew his spirit into the womb of Mary. Uh, another event and uh, uh, a pivotal one in, uh, in Christianity is the crucifixion of Jesus and later on his resurrection uh, um, from a point of view of the Christians. Uh, Christianity is the largest uh, 
religion uh, as much as uh, its followers are concerned and uh, uh, Christians are uh, scattered around the world of course like uh, uh, any other uh, religion but uh, they are concentrated mainly in uh, Europe North and South America and uh, some parts of Africa uh, Christianity is a missionary religion that is it uh, it is an open religion which invites people to believe and and adhere to its uh, teachings and uh, precepts the holy book for the Christians is the Bible the Bible is composed of two parts the Old Testament, I think there is no S there, the Old Testament uh, is constitu constituted of, four of the, uh, some books from the Hebrew Bible, uh, the important part of which is the Torah. Of course, Christians believe, that, uh, believe in much of the teachings of Judaism, that's why they included the Old Testament in their Bible. The second part of the Bible is the New Testament, uh, which in turn uh, is constituted of four uh, books which are known as uh, the four Gospels. The New Testament includes the teachings of Jesus, peace be upon him. I should stress though that the Bible is different from how we conceive, uh, for example, the Quran, which we believe that it is uh, revealed word by word uh, uh, by God to his uh, prophet Muhammad peace be upon him so Muslims for example believe that God, that the Quran is word by word from God uh, in contrast the Bible uh, includes the teachings of prophets but uh, is uh, compiled by human beings I'm speaking here about uh, both the Old Testament and the New Testament. Both of them are compiled and written by human beings after the death of uh, of prophets. For example, the New Testament, uh, which includes the teachings of Jesus, is compiled and written over 100 years after the, the death of Jesus. Peace be upon him. So, it should not be taken as uh, uh, literally uh, revealed by God like other religions uh, Christianity has its own celebrations and rituals indeed there are many but I'm just mentioning what I uh, think are the important ones uh, Christmas is uh, a celebration which uh, commemorates the birth of Jesus peace be upon him it takes place on the 25th of December uh, every year uh, the next important celebration for the Christians is Easter it's uh, celebrated over one week and it reminds uh, uh, Christians of the resurrection of Jesus peace be upon him uh, on the days of Easter uh, Christians uh, eat celebrate express their joy uh, they go to the church uh, read from the Bible uh, chant music and in some countries they even go out on processions uh, children decorate eggs and receive uh, uh, gifts another uh, important ritual for Christians is baptism and this is the ritual uh, in which water is sprinkled on the forehead of babies as an act of admission uh, to the church uh, but this is a ritual which is not only restricted to babies any individual even adults can be uh, baptized if they want to uh, adhere to the teachings of uh, Christianity and uh, be accepted as members of the church uh, the prayer in in Christianity is uh, uh, is somewhat loose and does not have any specific form uh, unlike uh, uh, prayer for example in Judaism or Islam which have uh, very specific uh, for uh, prayer for uh, Christians can be 
can take the form of reading from the Bible, of reciting the Bible in uh, in group, of uh, offering uh, uh, supplications, or uh, just of contemplating uh, and reflecting. So it's kind kind of a loose prayer. The holy sites and some houses of and uh, houses of worship, Bethlehem, Bethlehem, Bethlehem in Arabic. Uh, this is the birthplace of uh, of Jesus, peace be on him, in modern day Palestine, Jerusalem, which witnessed uh, many events, uh, uh, which uh, are very significant in the history. Of Christianity, uh, Jesus' uh, uh, resurrection, Jesus' crucifixion, uh, he the last supper with his disciples. Okay, and many other events, and it uh, uh, it it uh, it contains, and it is in Jerusalem that there is uh, one of the oldest uh, churches in the world. And the house of worship, of course, is uh, the church.